Hello team. How are you guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Hope you guys had a wonderful uh, weekend. I'm gonna give it a few seconds to see if anybody jumps on the live. What I'm gonna do, hey Madison, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter all the names at the end, um, like while I'm waiting for any questions to come through and stuff. Hey Stephanie, just because I don't want to lose track of the training, I don't want this to be like super long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, today, um, we're gonna be doing a training about imagining summer parties. Okay, and I wanna first start off by saying that during the summer, a lot of consultants, Take the time off. Oh my God. It's a difficult time of the year because a lot of people are vacationing. Our kids are at home. We are either working and having to balance camps and all this stuff, or we are off and have the kids and trying to keep them entertained. Um, but we tend to kind of think, oh, it's summer. It's a break from our business. But the biggest mistake that we're making with that is one, it's going to be very hard to pick up our business again in August, September, and two, you are not planting seeds along the way for when that fall season comes, boom, that harvest season comes, okay? So the summer does not mean that you take the time off, it does not mean that you put your business to the side, it means that you work differently and party differently to kind of fit your summer plan. Let me, let me explain. Let's say that you are going on vacation. Take your stuff with you. I always take a small pack of testers and catalogs with me everywhere I go. I always take marketing material because I can leave it everywhere. I can give it to um, plane hostesses, uh, flight attendants. I can leave it in bathroom stalls. I can give it to family and friends. Um, if I'm going to a particular event, I bring Sensi as the gift. Um, if I am going to like be hosted by someone, guess what? That hostess is going to get something from me that's Sensi related. So find different ways to party during the summer to fit your summer plans. Okay. Okay. First one I'm going to give a uh, shout, uh, talk about is travel parties or on the go parties. Okay. So these are parties that you can prep a few of them and have hostesses take with them. So you don't even have to do parties. Someone's going to a 4th of July party, I know we just had 4th of July, but a holiday party, they can take that with them and share with their family and friends. If they're going to a barbecue, they can have they can share with their family and friends. If they're going on vacation to go see family and friends, they can take and share with their family and friends and still earn um, host rewards. So I'm gonna show you guys my the big one I have. I couldn't find any of my little ones, um, so this is my big travel party, okay? I have a couple different things in it. So I have my little avocado, I call him guacamole. That's his name, guacamole. Um, I have a cleaning product, this one's a new one. I haven't opened it because this party has not gone out yet. Um, but it's a counter clean, or this one's a bathroom cleaner actually. I should have grabbed a counter clean. Because I always, always, always want to give them counter clean. If I can hook them on counter clean, they are going to be a customer for life. Counter clean and washer whips and our wax and warmers hook people on Sensi. Okay. Then I give them a mini fan and pods. Okay. Pods. I, I got to update this one, but we're going into the fall, so I probably won't. Um, I have apple and cinnamon sticks um, and a wall fan because this way they can take this anywhere and not have to worry about cleaning up the wax but they can show people how our, our systems work. And if they know Sensi, they can be like, well, this one is the wall fan, but if you buy a warmer and wax, it's just gonna be, you know, melted wax. Um, I always give them a bar of the scent of the month, and they can keep this, okay? Um, and then I give them the full set of testers and catalogs and order forms, okay? Now, this is a big one, okay? When I say you, have, you can do little ones, you guys literally, for a long period of time, up until I want to say like two or three years ago, I used pencil pouches that I got at Walmart for like 50 cents and I put a catalog order forms and I would put in like 10, 15 testers and I would mail those out. I send them a bar in there. 
um, of this of the of the scent of the month, or I would send them samples of different products. Um, you need to do what you can afford to do. Do not go out and get on Amazon tonight and buy a bunch of bags thinking this is the way that you have to do it. You have to do it with what fits your budget and what fits your schedule because uh, do you have enough products to fill this in? You know, I've been getting rid of products. I wouldn't have enough products to fill four or five of these. Um, but this is also great for someone that wants to like take everything to show people and experience more than just the wax and warmers. Maybe someone that their family has no clue what Sensi is. But if their family knows what Sensi is, just a couple of testers, catalog, and order forms is all they need. Because they already understand what Sensi is. So, those travel parties. You can, you can find baskets at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can find pouches at the dollar store. I think a pouch that can fit a catalog is big enough. And it's still small enough where you can mail it. Um, when I did mail my parties, I would tell them that once the party closed, I would send them a prepaid label to send it back, or I would cover the cost of sending it back for the order. So, for example, if it costs $5 to send the testers back, I would pay $5 of their order and while they paid the $5 to send that back. Um, but travel parties are a great way to get more parties out there than you having to go actually and do the party, okay? And a side note, hello, it's a great opportunity for that host to now see if she can do this because she can find it super easy to do um, and share with her family and friends and say, hey, you know what? I actually can do this. Let me join, okay? Next, we have themed parties. Summer is a time where people are gathering People are relaxing, having fun, enjoying the summer night. So why not use what we're already doing, what we're already doing to have a party, okay? Now again, if this training was before 4th of July, I would say, hey, 4th of July, have someone throw a 4th of July Sensi party, okay? But let's talk about a sip and sniff. Have the friends over and do, if it's in the morning, do some mimosas and sniff the scents and look at the catalog. If it's at night, um, you can have, you know, beer and a special cocktail. Um, do a barbecue scentsy party, okay? This barbecue idea, I actually saw once shared. Um, I can't remember where it was, what page it was, but there was a guy that said that he did a barbecue scentsy party and he invited the husbands and the wives so it's kind of like a, you know, like the couple put it on together because the husbands are out there grilling and talking. And guess what? When the wife says, hey, I really like this warmer. Can I get it? He's not going to say no in front of everybody. He's not. He's going to be like, hey, if you want to get it. So what are the wives going to do? They're going to get everything that they want. Okay. I know it kind of sounds like bad, but it's true. Like it is so true. Like if you go out and it's a bunch of couples, and the wife puts the husband on the spot, he's not going to back down. He's not, okay? Um, so maybe you and your husband can have a barbecue and invite couples over, and he can entertain the husbands, and you can entertain the wives. Showing them the catalog, having them sniff, showing them stuff that have come out, different collections that we still have going on, letting them know, hey, there's a new catalog coming. Who wants to host? Be, be one of my first hosts um, in August. Um, last chance, first glance. Talk to your best customers and let them know, hey, this is the last chance we have for spring and summer. Do you want to have a party and your family and friends can order from this party and then they can pre-order for the next party? I, If you want information on how to do a last chance, first glance, we are going to have an amazing training on the 19th by Diane. It's gonna go into all the details, but if you need, if you have like some immediate questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I like to do last chance, first glance, open houses. 
I like to invite my customers over and let them know, hey, this is what's discontinuing. Now that we have Scentsy Club, you can talk to them about Scentsy Club, let them know if you really have to have that scent, you can join Scentsy Club. Here's how it works. Let me help you go ahead and get started because they're at the comfort of your home, right? And then show them the new catalog, okay? How about s'more summer nights? Get around a fire pit. I know in Florida that's kind of hard because it's super hot, but if it's kind of like in like the late, late evening, you can kind of get away with it. Do a s'mores bar. Have everyone come out and around the fire and you guys can sniff and, and look at the catalog while you guys are making s'mores, okay? Use what you're already doing. Have a pool party. Have people come over, jump in the pool, have a fun time, and then take a break. They can smell. You can have your testers out, their catalogs out for them to look at whenever they take a break from the pool. Enjoy some drinks. Um, you know, have a chili cook-off. Y'all, have a chili cook-off with your friends. Have everybody bring a chili. That could be a freaking fun dinner. Choose one winner. Give away Scentsy. I know it sounds crazy. You might be thinking, but Liz, I don't have money to do a Scentsy giveaway. You can get, you can do a scent circle with a couple of Dollar Tree things. You can have everybody go in on something and then you put in the Scentsy for the grand prize. You can literally give them a coupon. The winner gets $10 off their next, like their Scentsy order or $10 Scentsy cash. Use your creativity. Do not just sit there and say, well, summer is a hard time. It's a slow time. It's a slow month. I'm not going to do any of this because I'll just pick it up in August or September when it gets busy. Start planting those seeds now so that you can have those hostesses for the fall, so that you can have those potential team members for the fall, so that you can have that customer base start growing. Because guess what? When the fall comes, you're going to want more than just the three customers that you have right now. Or you're going to want to build those relationships so in the fall when something comes out, they're already thinking of you. When that Hocus Pocus warmer comes out, you don't want them going to anybody else but you. But in order for them to do that, you have to build that relationship with them. You have to not just say, oh, well, they bought from me in, you know, whatever, December when it was busy season. They bought from me in March when the new catalog dropped. But right now it's kind of slow, so I'm just going to, no. Pick up your kit and work your kit. That chili cook-off that I just came up with in my head, I'm already like thinking, what am I, when am I gonna do this and how? Um, because it sounds like a banging good time. Think of what you and your friends already enjoy doing. If it's literally just chilling and relaxing while you're having a drink, have them over for drinks. Tell the girls to invite somebody that's not part of your nuclear group. Hey, invite that coworker you're always telling me about. Invite your sister. Invite that neighbor that just moved in that you were telling me that you guys had that great conversation. There's referrals for you right there. So imagine those summer parties by doing the things that you're already doing. Okay. If you guys have any ideas or any questions or anything, share those with the team because I know this time of the year is a little bit harder. It's a little bit slower. We all need to share what we're doing that is successful so that we can all grow our business. We can all kind of take from here and there and see what fits, what works for us. Because what works for me might not work for you. What works for one might not work for the other, but what works for Z might work for A. When we're constantly sharing the things that we come up with, we are working as a family. And that's what Z is, right? Okay, we have a real quick call to action. I want you guys to take something from this training, whether it's having an open house, creating mini bag parties, choosing to do a themed party, whatever it is, and drop it in the comments. Say, I am going to plan this. I'm going to set this as my goal and do it this month. Okay. Do it this month. I just had the idea of a chili cook-off. So I might have to do a chili cook-off with my family and friends. Um, so I'm giving you guys a call to action because we need to 
hold each other accountable. Okay? I love you guys.